Hello everyone and welcome to APM Academy. In today's video, we're gonna go over tenant management when a tenant moves into the wrong unit or property and they need to transfer to their correct unit slash property. And then in order to do this, way long time ago in the dark ages of Appfolio, you had to do all this work manually, but now the transfer tenant task now will do everything for you. So in order to move Bilbo J Baggins to Rivendell Apartments Unit Unit One, what we're going to do is we're going to click the task Transfer Tenant. Once we click Transfer Tenant, here we'll get to see the tenant transfer summary. You'll see the two statuses, which is are important. One, they need to start a move out of their old unit, and two, we need to start a move in into their new unit or the correct move unit. So here for the transfer tenants, we just select the move out date. We'll say it's today. Then we get to say the move in date to the new unit. And we'll also say today. The new unit we're gonna select is gonna be the one we talked about, Rivendale. Apartments, unit one. And then we're gonna hit start transfer. Now what happens when we do this transfer is we will have a move out for their old unit. Here you can post any charges and credits if applicable. In most cases, it will not be. And then we can say transfer their full deposit of $3,000 to the new unit. So we'll say yes. And then we will post accounting. If in a certain situation it is a different owner and your workflow requires that you refund the tenant, you can have the option to refund the tenants like a normal move out. In most cases though, we do see that the deposit will follow the respective tenants to their new unit. So now we hit post accounting. Yes, post accounting. And then now we see that for Mr. Bilbo Baggins and Frodo B. Baggins on their old unit, the Shire, we all have, have a couple things. So we have the normal credit for the move out charge. This credit is gonna be from the management or owner held deposit. We have a charge to clearing. In this case, it's called the deposit clearing in this database. And then lastly, we have two journal entries, which look weird, but this just purely shows on the property ledger, the funds leaving 3478 Shire and going into Rivendell Apartments Unit 1. You then also on this transfer tenant will then have to generate a new move-in for Mr. Bilbo Baggins and Frodo Baggins into their new unit. It does pull all their previous information, so phone numbers, emails, forwarding address, so you won't have to re-implement that, but it will require that you generate a new lease for this new unit and then send that out to be countersigned online via their portal. It is also here that if the rental amounts are different, the new recurring charges will post according to what's set on the property page, and the tenant will then receive a credit for their previous deposit. Continue move out. And then once we hit this, then it'll be green across the board. So now we have two completes. This means the tra tenant transfer has now been completed. Bilbo Baggins and Frodo B Baggins have now moved from the Shire to Rivendell Apartments Unit 1. And we see a notification that Unit 1's escrow account has received the funds of the security deposit. In this, in this case, because we have one cash account, there's no need to actually move the funds at the bank level. But if you do have two separate bank accounts for these properties, you will actually have to physically transfer funds. But in this case, we have the same bank account, so there's no transfer needed. We will wanna make sure to apply credits if applicable, and we see that the system did fully apply the credits as we needed. So now what we can do is we can take a look at Bilbo Baggins. He's given notice on the Shire, he's moved out. We can review his ledger. We do see from our previous video, the history of the payment, and then now the deposit leaving. And then we can again, take a look at Bilbo's new tenant ledger. On the Rivendell Apartments, we see that we have a history of the deposit coming in, 
paying off his first move in charge. We do also see that the original rent amount for this unit is 4,000, but since we did the transfer as of July 3rd, it did automatically prorate the move in charge for this new unit. In the event that we wanted to bring over also the rental payment, as we saw from Bilbo's previous payment of the $5,100 for $2,100, in the event that you did want to bring that over to their new unit as well, this is what you would do. You'd go to the tenant's name, you click enter charge, enter for the amount of the payment that you're wanting to bring over. And the charge GL account is going to be the clearing account. In most cases, this will be the 2120 or whatever your GL account is set up for. In this case, it's 21410. And this we will say move rent payment to new unit. Then we'll hit save. Now we have our $2,100 charge to move our, our rent payment to the new unit. Here, we would want to click this next task, enter credit. We would post it for the same amount, $2,100. But for this GL account, we're going to use the charge that got paid in full on this ledger. So in this case, we see that this $2,100 here was charged to rent. So our credit now on this unit is going to be from that same GL account because that's where those funds are. In this case, 41200 in this database. Yours, it may differ, but whatever your key account is for rent income is what we will post this credit for. So now we hit save. And now we still get back to our $0 tenant ledger balance. And now we have, if we go to our diagnostics, and now we will see that we have a $2,100 clearing mismatch balance on the Shire for our rental payment. So now the next steps after the tenant ledger has been dealt with is we're going to go accounting, payables, enter bill. This one will be the name of the management company. The amount will be the total amount of rent payment we are transferring over. The property will be the property that has the rental payment. So the Shire outlook. GL account is going to be our clearing account. And then from this point, we hit save. For remarks reference, you can put as much or as little information as you need in there. In most cases, it would be best to at least in the remarks say transfer of rent payment to new unit. Because the remarks and the description is what the owner will see on their owner statement. We'll hit save on this. Pay bill now, other payment, 703. Payment type, this again, you can put as other, and transfer. Important to note, this payment that we're making, unless it's a separate bank account, since this case it is the same exact bank account, we're gonna do an other payment for this transaction. We are not gonna wanna pay it with ACH or anything of the sort, because otherwise the funds would be sent to the management company. So it's important to note that if you're just transferring funds from one property to another that shares the same bank account, we are purely just going to do an other payment and re reference the transfer. So now on our old unit, we are completely 100% caught up. The property is now cleared out. The last final step that we will need to do to move this 2100 over to their new unit is we're going to go to their tenant page on their new unit. So we're going to go to the Rivendale Apartments. And then we're going to click the task, enter receipt. We'll post it for $2,100. And the remarks will say transferred from the Shire Outlook. This one, you can also put the reference if you want to that same old check number, or you can leave it blank as well. So now we will go ahead and hit save. And like our last video, although we've completed the tenant side, in order to reconcile the payment against the receipt of the transfer of the funds, 
We have one more step to do. We have to go to our receipt. Hit say new bank deposit. And then make deposit. So you've done great up to this point. There is one last final step that we have to follow. So we have a payable on our old property and a receivable on our new property. You can opt if you so too desire to have these on your reconciliation report and then check them off against each other or to make it simpler and to make your bank rec match more one-to-one -to, -one to what your total cash in and cash out is on your bank statement. I would encourage you to take this receipt and then take your payable that you made for 2100 go to the payment section for that bill it will look something like this and go to the deposit section for your receipt and then click the task mark as reconciled reconcile go to your payment and do the same what this does is it will allow for these two transactions a non real life cash transfer to then be reconciled against each other, keeping your books still in balance, but allocating the funds where you desire them to be. Now we have finally moved their total rent payments over to their new unit from their old unit. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.